Have you ever wondered what the volume of a container is? Yeah, me neither, but it's easy enough to do a math project on, so whatever. This graph right here is basically uh, the cross-section of this Gatorade bottle, which was, yeah, hard to cut if you can imagine, but anyway, yeah, it's about 219, or 21.9 centimeters long, and uh, yeah, this little line up here, that's the radius of this circle, which if you multiplied them all the way through would be, or if you added them all the way through, it'd be like adding the integral of the area of a circle, and it would look like that. Now, take the pi out of there, and it's just basically that graph, but since the graph, or since Gatorade obviously wasn't taking me into consideration when they designed their water bottles, I'm not even going to bother to find that out, because Canucks game starts pretty quick, and I don't want to miss that. So if the cross section, if the graph cross section was determinable, it would be about 10 or 710 centimeters cubed, or 710 milliliters, which is basically the same thing. And I know that because I read this out of the water bottle before I cut off the label. But yeah, taking this graph here and rotating it around, you basically just push that into the page, flip it over, and add them together like that, which is pretty cool, I guess, but still. It's math. I'm not going to say that out loud. Thank you.